Hey guys, so I have the boxing charm for the month of June for you guys. So this is going to be a unboxing and try on for you guys. They do send me this for review purposes. All opinions are my own. They also give me a link down below. I do get compensation if you use my link. It's not necessary for you to use it if you don't want to or you don't feel the need to. Um, but I do get compensation. I just like to put that out there for you guys. Also, my Instagrams are down below if you're interested in following me for makeup, if you want to get to know me in my little personal life, or if you want to follow me on my Disney one, they're all down below. So now that I got that out of the way, this month is the getaway. So everyone always goes out for, you know, most of the time for the months of summer, people go away, summer vacation, stuff like that. So that is the theme of this month's box. And I got variation number five. So first thing in here is the Tarte BU Naturally Eyeshadow Palette. And this is worth $36. It's actually what's on my eyes because after this unboxing, you guys will see the try on portion so this is what it looks like I love the packaging on here it's very holographic it has these uh, holographic kind of leaves that are bluish purple on here it's very very beautiful and it has a, a mirror and I noticed this when I was trying it on it smells like chocolate I don't know if that's supposed to be like that uh, but it I don't think it says anything here right it says that it's formulated with the Amazonian clay formula you have four shimmer shades four mattes but it doesn't say anything else other than that so let me go ahead and swatch the four mattes for you guys so you guys can see those so those are the four mattes and then the shimmers are here so very very light palette uh, very neutral very nice for if you're gonna go on vacation very sturdy palette I really love the formulation of the shimmers in these palettes especially Next thing in here is the Touch and Soul No Problem Prime Essence. This is worth $23. It's supposed to be a flower extract. It's supposed to be a primer. Oh, it's a primer. I used it. Yeah, I kind of used that as a primer today. I didn't put anything afterwards. So I put a, this as a primer and then I put my foundation directly on. I have to say, I thought that this was more of a skincare. Um, it says it's a primer that tightens up your pores and keeps your skin silky smooth. But here it says to apply as your last step of skin, 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 Skin care, damn it, why didn't I not be able to talk? So here it says it's the last step to your skin, 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 skin care. And um, this is worth $23. So apparently you can use it as a primer as well. I use it as a primer today and not even thinking about it. I actually, it kind of feels like a serum and it smells kind of flowery and it has this little dropper here. So I will start using this as a primer. It's a nice um, kind of more hydrating one. It does say to pat onto skin, which is what I did. And it, it felt like a little bit more sticky and tacky. And when you hear like spreading it out like this, it doesn't feel that way. But when you like kind of just pat it in, it felt a little tacky. So maybe that's the reason that it's kind of a primer. But I did really like the way this felt on my skin. And I like the smell. It has like a flowery scent. That might not be for everyone though. Next thing in here is the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss. And that's actually what I have on my lips. Um, it's a hydrating shine, fullness to your lips, not sticky. And it's supposed to be sheer gloss, which it is um, long lasting and you're supposed to wear it alone or layered. This is worth $17. I really, really enjoy this. I think she did a really good job with the formulation. This is in the shade peach tea and it is what I have on my lips. I do try it on for you guys and kind of give you my first impressions. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this just so you guys can um, see the swatch. It's kind of just like a sheer peach and it's absolutely beautiful. It smells like vanilla. Uh, next thing in here is the Steve Laurent Jelly Highlighter. It's a bouncy, lightweight, blendable, water resistance, and fun to use. It says simply dab with your finger or watch it glide with ease. It's $26. I wish I had read that first because um, at first I felt like it wasn't going on right and then it really went on like 
pow in your face. So uh, let me go ahead and swatch this and this is in the shade Cotton Candy. Oh yeah, it's definitely a cream. Oh God, now I understand why my brush um, kind of looked wet. So that is what it looks like and it is a really, really strong highlight. And it's actually on my face. You can actually see my reaction in a little bit um, when I try it on. At first it didn't really apply well and then like it kind of took away the first layer and then applied well. So last thing in here is a dirty little secret lip liner. It says a smooth, creamy uh, lip liner. It's $15 and it is in the shade pale pink and it's actually what I lined my lips with. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch that for you guys right here and that's what it looks like. So if you guys wanna see my first impressions and actually see all of the products in use, definitely stick around for the try on portion. So before I put on any foundation or anything like that, I'm gonna try the first thing in here which is the no pore blum prime essence it is a can calendula Fashionalis flower extract so on the box it says to use as the last step of your skincare and apply a moderate amount and gently pat on your skin until it's absorbed so I'm gonna just go ahead and open this up and it has like a dropper and just it's very liquidy almost like serum like and it has like a flowery smell to it so I'm just going to put this in my hands and then pat this on my skin and it feels almost like a little sticky but I think that I would probably use this almost kind of like a serum or something more at night now that I have my foundation on, I also have just a little bit of Max Bronzer and Give Me Sun. I have a little bit of eye primer on, and I'm going to jump into this beautiful palette here. This is the Tarte BU Naturally Eyeshadow Palette, and I love these little round palettes. I feel like they're really greatly made. Um, they're really sturdy, and I feel like you get a lot of shades in here they're usually really really nice as far as like pigmentation i really like the formula in tarte's little round eye palettes so i feel like these smell like chocolate these smell like the Too faced chocolate palette so i'm gonna go ahead and dip into here and do something simple for you guys just something quick and simple so i'm gonna go ahead and set uh it has the names but they're on the back and it's kind of hard to determine which is which but I'm going into just like the plain Jane uh, simple matte cream shade and just applying that all over and I swear these smell just like the Too Faced chocolate palette but I swear it, it smells just like the chocolate palette <laughs> um, maybe I'm just hungry. Next shade I'm gonna use is this matte uh, kind of like caramelly light caramel color and I use that as my transition shade. So it did take a little while for me to build up the color and really blend it out and next thing I'm gonna take is this darker brown and just apply that on the outer edge just the tiniest bit and just kind of smoke that edge a little bit. I do feel like this formula, especially the mattes, are a little bit more patchy and harder to blend out than the other ones that I've um, tried from them. For my all over lid shade, I'm gonna use this bronze shade and my Beauty Junkies Pro Concealer Brush, which I love for any kind of shimmer shade and apply that on the majority of the lid. Now the shimmers are going on spectacularly. I don't, I haven't even wet my brush or anything and I feel like you can just already tell how pigmented it is. Then for that inner corner, I'm gonna try using this more champagne shade and seeing how that looks. Oh, that's pretty. That is super pretty. And let's just apply a little bit over on this side. You guys can actually see it in action. That is very, very pretty. The shimmer shades on here are stunning. Okay, I'm gonna try to use the gold on the lower lash line and see if you guys can actually see it like show up. 
Okay, that's not showing up really nicely, so I'm gonna go ahead and add. Okay, so the lower lash line, I added a little bit of gold and then a little bit of the bronze, and then I just used a brown liner. I applied liner and mascara to my eyes. I'm not gonna put any falsies or anything because I'm literally going to bed after filming this. So next thing in the box I'm gonna try is the Cotton Candy Highlighter from Steve Laurent. Um, we received something from them previously and I really enjoyed, what was it? I think a lip gloss. Yeah, it was like a lip gloss. And so let's see what this looks like and try this little sucker on. And I've been loving this brush from Royal and Lang Nickel that I bought. So let's just see what this looks like on. Okay, and my brush is shedding just to... Okay, so that is what it looks like. I think it's a very beautiful glow. It's not. It doesn't seem like bam in your face. Okay, uh, okay, I don't know what happened there. I think the brush picked it up better on this side. Uh, now it's bam in your face. Wow, um, I don't know. It kind of has like a coating on there. So I think that that's what's happening is that the brush is like going through the coating now. It almost looks like hard pan. Okay, wow, this is super pigmented. Look at that. I hope it's picking up in the light, but it is like a blinding highlight. So if you have a natural hair brush, it's definitely going to pick up a lot more than just like a synthetic brush. So if you want more of a natural look, go with the synthetic brush, especially maybe a fan brush. But if you want more of this bling, then go with a natural hair brush. It just kind of picks up the highlight a lot better. And this is definitely a bam in your face. So the next product in here is the Dirty Little Secret Pale Pink Lip Liner. Okay, whoa. Okay, don't, don't escape. Okay, I just noticed that my toddler had put a box where it's not supposed to go in my background. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. This is pale pink and it's super sharpened. It is definitely more of a dry formula. Okay, so this formula is definitely a lot drier than the kind of formula that I like for a lip liner. I like them when they're a lot more creamier. So if you're more into drier formulas, this is probably for you. I like a little bit more, you know, um, like smoothness to lip liners. And then the last thing in here that I'm going to try is the Dominique Cosmetics peach tea and then I don't know if this is a lip gloss or because it literally does not say on the box so this is what it looks like and it says lemonade on here and it doesn't say whether it's a gloss or not so let's see if it is yeah it's definitely gloss and it has kind of just like that vanilla smell I was hoping it smelled like lemonade because it says lemonade this is what the shade looks like and this is peach tea um, I did kind of put two layers on here to get this um, kind of a pot opacity on it uh, it is more of a sheer formula lip gloss so you could put it on top of a lipstick if you wanted to I'm really into lip glosses um, I'm kind of over the whole matte kind of trend I really like adding just lip glosses on top of my lap matte lipsticks for the most part now especially now for summertime I just really really love a gloss and this is a super comfortable one. It's not sticky. It doesn't have like that form where it forms in between your lips or anything like that. I do like the smell. It's a vanilla smell. I would have liked it for it to have like a lemony lemonade smell since that is the theme. And the packaging is super cute. So let me know what you guys think of the shade. I think it goes really well with the whole look. And yeah, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts now. 
For my final thoughts, I have to say this box is a really good one. I have to say the only thing that I did not enjoy from the box is the lip liner. I feel like it's a little bit dry. The primer essence kind of skincare primer thing I really, really enjoy. I love the smell of this, very flowery. The lip gloss I love. It's very nice, not sticky, very glossy. Uh, and the uh, cream highlight that I wish was a high I knew was a cream highlight before I did the uh, try on portion. The palette is a very nice, sturdy, beautiful packaging, just a very basic eyeshadow uh, that you can take anywhere with you. And let me know if yours smells like chocolate because I swear it smells like chocolate. And then what was the other thing in here? I think that that is it. So I do like four out of the five products. Like I said, the lip liner fail for me. I wish it was a little bit more hydrating um, and creamy. As always, I will put this month's box a total value around here for you guys. BoxyCharm is $21 a month, so if you want to subscribe, you can use my link down below. I do get compensation, or you can go directly to their website. Let me know what you guys are excited for, what you're not looking forward to, which variation you're looking or hoping that you get, if it's this one or another one. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that little red button and follow my channel. And yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.